Welcome to this playthrough of Exotic Industries, a Factorio mod pack that I recently discovered. I was just running around to scout the border for biters and I will soon return with a lot more stone that I made and some of those technology packs. This is my spaceship that I crashed because I can not really fly properly. Or something was broken, I'm not sure. One of these. Okay, I didn't leave anything in there, that's good. And some of these miners are out of coal. I guess I need to do things here. Instead of just running around. Should add these science packs. I wonder how many copper ingots I need compared to iron ingots. I can make the burner and uh, assembler already multiple times so I will do that and I will do the stone after that and I should make some more furnaces just in case I might just do military after after this gun turret and then do a belt and I guess after the gun turret I can then research this possibly I don't know if there's any prerequisites I can make pipes after that and steam engine. I guess steam engine is a an intermediate item. And it doesn't mean the actual steam engine that produces electricity. That's the electricity age. Not sure where the... okay, that's electricity power and that's the steam engine. Use steam engines. It's a bit weird, but okay. They have the same name. One is a building and another is a um, intermediate item. Let's just build these assemblers. Maybe just three in a row for now. I will make sure that these machines have some food. And then these assemblers also need some stuff. And I need to set recipes. I guess I could automatically make Dark Age technology packs. Wait, I didn't know that I should press Alt to enter Alt mode because, again, Alt mode isn't on by default. That's quite annoying. Okay, I need to make plates first because uh, before I can make anything out of the plates. But actually, I need to see which of these items I actually need. Three different items of each material. And in these burner assemblers, there are copper beams and copper mechanical parts. And there are iron plates and iron mechanical parts. I'll do the copper stuff first. Um, yeah, beams and mechanical parts in order to make more of these machines. 
basically. Pollution is still in check between the forests. So I can make more of those machines, but I would need more of these copper beams. They are quite slow. Mechanical parts are made a little bit faster. I guess I will just make another one of those machines. I will probably need more copper soon. I'll just do that. So the science packs are quite a lot by now. So now some iron things, um, I guess plate, and what was the other thing, mechanical parts. I guess now I have four smelters for each of this resource. For copper and iron. Probably make some more of those burner mining grills. I could also uh, pre craft some of those furnaces. So this is a longer chain now and I can probably can I do this? Do I have to do something else first? Maybe I will look at the Informatron again. Ages of technology. Okay, exotic industries changes the way technology is researched. A new age can only be researched if a certain percentage of texts from the previous age are already researched beforehand. In addition to that, the cost of tax is changed in exotic industries. All tax start with a minimal research price and become more expensive as you progress through the tech tree. Okay. Okay, there's the current age progress. 33.3 30 uh, of 65. to know. The trains look really fancy. 
I wonder if I can always change the color. Spidertron is available in the computer age. I wonder when that will happen. I can't really hover over these and see what they are. Or I guess I could read this. So computer is the fourth. After electricity. Then quantum and then exotic. We can overhaul. They need water or some fluid. Okay, four beacons maximum for one machine. And they need a cooling fluid. But they can hold more modules. Good to know. Eight modules, apparently. This looks like the old vanilla beacon, or doesn't? it I'm not sure how it looked I guess some of these things I can look at later I will just uh, click on everything to give you the opportunity to read it through if you want just need to pause the video So there are difficult biters. Anyway, should do more about the actual factory. I guess I just have to research until the threshold is reached. I guess coal is more abundant now. Maybe not abundant enough yet. I should craft these gun turrets and craft some of them manually and soon enough I will also okay I guess I should automate the crafting of miners and soon enough I will use uh, transport belts to transport stuff. Let's not waste too much coal. Okay, I guess I could start by doing this and I need to make some transport belts. So and they will provide themselves via one burner inserter each.
I guess those machines have enough coal. Seem to be out of zone at the moment. And I wanna put stuff on my hotbar. Okay, I basically wanna have more of these iron products and also the iron beam. Not sure if I need that right now, but I should prepare for that. There's still quite enough science packs in there, so I don't really need to hurry about those. I wonder in which direction I should build. Maybe up? Um, the coal basically went down. I guess I might smelt iron somewhere to the right, probably. Even if that looks a bit silly at the moment. How about this? There will be... I can use splitters, I guess. And I can make some underground belts. One hundred transport belts. Interesting. I guess I can look at this milestone stuff. So there are lots of different milestones to complete. The next one is 100 of the fast transport belts. Steel ingot, gold ingot, lead ingot, neodymium ingot, exotic ore, wherever I get that from. On, and there are different kinds of Biters that I should kill. Space flight. That's a lot of different planets to discover, I guess. Interesting. Uh, I guess it's not scrollable, that's all the achievements that there are.
I think I theoretically might even build more labs. Practically two. And then I can just split up the science packs. Wait, okay. I guess now they are not even anymore, but that's okay. I will need more of those mining drills. And I wanted to use a splitter to split the coal. So it can actually provide power to these miners. I will need more inserters. And more iron plates. I might build some kind of bus to some side, I'm not sure if it maybe should go up or to the right. And I might always change direction later. These need inserters now. Okay, iron ore is there. This can then go into furnaces. If I had more furnaces. I should destroy the slack. I guess automating that both coal and iron ore gets into those furnaces is some progress already. I don't necessarily need to get the stuff out just now. And I would have to split those things up anyway. Split the slag from the iron ingots. I guess with that, uh, I guess I will end the episode for now. And see you on another one. Uh, always like to hear from you if you like this kind of series. And if you want to see more or if you have any questions. And also I can power this lab so everything works nicely. Goodbye and see you another time.